Okay guys, this um, activity is going to be really cool because we're learning about using different functions in Microsoft Excel with text. Alright, so let me show you what we're going to learn. We're going to learn about a couple of functions. One of them is called concat. Alright, it used to be called concatenate, but that just was too long to say, so they made it shorter to say concat. I don't know if that's real, but it kind of makes sense to me. So concat. Oh, concat means to combine combine things, join things together. Take this, take this, put it together. Okay, concat. Then we have len, which is short for length. All right, and then we're going to do left, right, mid. All right, and I, you'll get to see what they do in a minute. So here we have uh, just a, a sample database of 500 people, and we're going to create a user ID. We're going to use the concat function. Now, the user ID is going to be based on an, their ID, their first name, and their last name all put together. Now, I mean, yes, you could go and type it out manually, but I mean, 500 people or 1,000, 10,000, you're not going to want to do that. Okay, so we use the function called concat. So we got equals concat. There it is there. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my mouse. I'm going to click on cell A2. Now, uh, my computer uses commas. Yours might use commas or semicolons. So A2 is the first cell. Then I give my next cell, which is the first name, A2, B2, comma, next cell, C2. There we go. So concat, join, combine, A2, B2, and C2. So let's see what it looks like when I complete this. And there it is. I have created a user ID for Cariota Betty. <laughs> That's the weirdest name. Sorry. Sorry, Cariota. So we've got the concat function putting that together for us there. And of course, now that you've done this, I mean, you can just drag that down 500 rows. Or if you're clever and you know that you've got the latest version of Excel, you just double click and it just fills it in for you. All right. There you go. So check it out. That's pretty darn cool. Yes, it is. Now we're going to look at using a slightly alternative method if you forgot how to use concat or you forgot the name concat. All right. This one is called the ampersand. That's probably, I don't even know if that's easier than concat. But anyway, the ampersand means and. It's that funny, weird, funny, weird, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, so let me show you what that does because that's the same thing as taking things and joining them together. She'd say this and this and this and this. It's cool. Watch. Equals the A2, the ID, ampersand, so and, then that one, and that one. So equals A2 and B2 and C2. And that's using the ampersand. And on my keyboard, it is the shift key and the number seven. Okay. Should be the same on yours. Let's have a look. Exactly the same. Perfect. Do you remember how to copy this down? Just a little drag handle bottom right there. There it is. There it is. Just like that. Double click. Copies it down for you. All right. So that was concat. Now, that was just joining existing things together. What happens if we need to then add things to join, okay, like as we do it? For example, we're going to create an email address for each one of these people. So we're going to join their first name and their last name, and we're going to then add an email address to the end of that. So this is what we do. Equals, I'm going to use concat. You can use concat or the ampersand. Totally up to you. Concat their first name, remember, and their last name. Great. And now I need to add the rest of the email address. So let's just say, for example, it was at, uh, uh, sorry, at work.com. It's in text. What Text quotes. Why? Because it's text in, in text. It's in quotes because it is text. It's a string. It's text goes in quotes. Do this one more time. Okay. Uh, there we go. Quote, I'm going to write at work.com. Right. That's probably like a legit email address. But uh, here we go. At work.com. Close that off. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. First name last name, joined together with the concat function, joined together with the text that says at work.com. Don't forget the text is in quotes. Yes, cool. So just copy that down. Remember, click on the little drag handle at the bottom right hand side, double click, 
copy this down. Nice. Now let's see. Let's make this a little bit more complicated for you. So I want you to go and create an email address just as we did before. However, I want to separate the name and surname with a full stop, a period, full stop. Right? Let's do it. So equals and we go concat. We do first name. Now we could do last name now. We could do the whole thing and then add the, the full stop it or we could do it as we're doing it. I mean, it's up to you, okay? You've got to figure this out as what's going to work for you. So have a look here. Uh, I've got equals concat b2. Now I need a full stop and then I'm going to do the surname. So a full stop is text. Text goes in quotations. There we go. Don't forget your comma to put. Now we can do the next thing to join. The next thing I'm joining is their surname. Yes. And a comma. Next thing to join is the email address at work.com. Beautiful. Check this out. Ho, ho, ho. Is that like Father Christmas? Ho, ho, ho. Cariota <laughs> I love this guy. Girl. I don't know who that is. Uh, there it is. Beautiful. So we have the name dot surname. So let's see how we did that. Concat B2. Concat the little dot C2. And then the text at work.com. I'm going to do it one more time for you, and this time I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to use the ampersand this time instead of concat. So equals, and this is like, for me it's so easy, like equals B2, then I'm going to do a full stop. Oh, sorry, I'm lying. Equals B2. Ignore everything I just did, okay? I I'm going to start again. Equals B2. There it is there. Ampersand kind of should have done that at the start then a dot okay ampersand last name ampersand at work.com and finish it off let's see uh, we found a typo in your formula uh, what did I miss I missed out oh my goodness I missed out that one thing at the end there just click OK it fixes it for me Oh, look at that. So good. So good. Okay, so two different ways of achieving the same thing. One is using a concat function. The other one is using the ampersand feature. All right, or key. And that is absolutely beautiful. Cool. Let's move on to len. Now, if you remember, len means length, how long a text is. Okay, so this is super easy. Here we go. We have the user ID. Let's say for this company that we're working with that the length of the user ID uh, has to be 15 letters or less. All right, 15 or less or less than 15. So we first have to determine how long are the user IDs. So equals len returns the number of characters in a string len. Click there. Select D2. That's where the thing is. And let's have a look. Oh, that's 15. That's so cool. Bring that down. And I just put on conditional formatting so you guys can see that it works. Okay. And there you can see every single user ID is now counted. It counts all the characters that are in that user ID and it returns the length of that. So there are 13 characters in Mavra Ambrose. Eight Mavra Ambrose. 13 characters. That's len. Okay, super easy. Now, left and right. Let's imagine we were creating a password for all of these people to log into our computer system. And we were going to use the first three letters of their first name and the last three letters of their surname. That's what left and right are for. Check it out. So the first one we're going to do is the left. So equals left. And it says returns the specified number of characters from the start, from the left-hand side of a text string. So left. Okay, cool. Left, first name. So we select the text. Okay, so that's the text we want to work with. And the next argument is how many characters. I want the first three. Only three. The first three characters. So let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see what that does. First three characters. So left the text is B2, and I want the first three characters. There we go. K-A-R. K-A-R. Now let's do the same with the right. So equals 
write returns the number of specified characters from the end of a text string, from the right, the end of a text string. Okay, so the text, we're going to do the surname this time. So here, the surname, and how many characters? Three, we'll just do three again, just, because, just for fun. Okay, there we go. Die, die. Oh, I forgot that I had conditional formatting on this. I would have just clear that. There you go. Car die. That's going to be, oh, that's terrible. Car die. Oh, no. How did that happen? All right. So let's say now we're going to build their password based on the ID and the left and right values. All right. Let's just concat. Okay. Equals concat the ID and the left and the right one cardi capital k look at that there we have a unique password so let's see what if i want to copy this down now don't go do this you know one at a time one at a time. select all of them and double click see done that's how quick we can work in excel okay and there you go their passwords are created so what did we do we took the left function we, we went to the left function we said out of the first name Give, give me the first three characters, okay? The right function, we said, okay, out of the surname, give me the last three characters or the first three characters from the end, okay? You can see it that way as well. And then we just use a concat function to join the ID, the left values and the right values together. It's pretty easy, hey? Last one, mid. Now, mid, if we've done left, and we've done right, then what happens if we want to select characters from a text but not from the left or from the right? Maybe somewhere in between. Okay, that's what mid is for. Mid is the middle. Okay, so it's not technically the middle, it's more like where you tell it to go, but you get the idea. So let's do one here. Let's go equals mid and let's see what mid needs. Mid actually needs like two or three things here. So first, mid text. I'm going to start with the first name again. Okay, so mid B2, choose text. Then it says the start number. Let's go from two letters in, two letters in. So starting at the second letter, how many characters? We'll do another two. So two letters in and give me the next two characters. That's what mid is doing. So let's see what does that give us. That gives us R, <laughs> like a pirate. Yes, sorry. And then let's do another one equals mid I'm just doing another one here so text I'll do the first name again let's say we go three letters in three letters in and let's give three letters after that okay so it'll actually be letters four five and six I think if I'm correct right Rio take the conditional formatting off sorry I copied these before I like there we go right and then of course you could go do another one like four letters in and one letter well let's do it let's just do it why not why not why not text okay so let's do the first name again let's go four letters into the name one two three four and then where how many characters do i want to count just one just just one character let's count one nice nice there you go and so again you can copy that down Beautiful. Now, the reason we learn this stuff, guys, is that this is because sometimes you need to extract information from text or a string or a phrase or a sentence, or you need to create something from text or from information that's been given to you in text format. And this is where left, right and mid come in very, very handy.